All right, I got my outfit on. I got my white corduroy pants that I love and this beautiful snakeskin bodysuit. And I thought it would be fun to show you guys my little fresh face routine because you know, it's the holidays. New Year's Eve is also coming up. You don't want anything too heavy. Well, at least I don't because you're gonna be eating, you're gonna be drinking. So you wanna get in there being like, I am the epitome of health. You know what I mean? So I figured it would be fun to like show you what I've been doing on my face, what's my skincare routine, all that jazz. So let's get started. First things first, after taking my shower and just before going to a big dinner, I like to brush my teeth. So I'm gonna do that now. I, w I went in the shower, I washed my hair, did all that jazz, and I also put this cleanser on. It's the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. So that is the cleanser that I used in the shower and I didn't put like anything else on my face. So the rest I will show you. So before anything else, I always put my lip balm on. So I have a whole bunch, but this is the one I've been tending to gravitate towards. It's the Burt's Bees Ginger and Lime Lip Balm. So just slather that on because it's cold, man. It's cold in Canada and this is a must. Next thing, I am sure that you guys seen this in my first Fat Fit Fun Box. I really do enjoy it. It's the Truffle Therapy Face Toner. So right after a cleanser, I just use this to tone my face. It is not drying at all. Actually, it is quite the opposite. It is very hydrating and nice on my skin. So I just use this with a little cotton pad and just go all over my face. Next thing, I've been using the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. So this is more of like my day cream. Okay, next thing is my trusty L'Oreal True Match Lumi. I am currently looking for a concealer and a foundation for 2020. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. But I usually don't like to start a product if I haven't finished one. So I am the worst YouTuber ever and you'll see the same product for like six months, even though this is an expiration of, oh, it's actually an expiration of 2022, which is pretty good. But you'll see basically the same products for months on end and then I'll just start a new one at some point, but whatever. I just don't like to have too much. So this is my foundation for now, but yeah, if you have any recommendations, let me know and I will put on the concealer. Again, Glossier Concealer. This is definitely shouldn't be worn anymore because I've had it for a long time, but I still have so much. So I'm gonna use it, whatever. Who actually listens to the expiration date anyways, except for mascara. Mascara, it gets pretty dry and not usable, so I tend to go through those a bit more quickly. So I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I have so much dryness here. So it doesn't really matter what you do. <laughs> the weather will just do what it does. So don't be too hard on yourself, especially when there's the change of seasons like this, like nothing's gonna be perfect ever. So just have a little bit of dryness on my T-zone and whatever, we'll just make do. Next, we're just gonna put a little bit of powder on where we were. And then we're gonna rehydrate with some Mario Badescu. Here we go. Next thing, obviously, you know the drill, nude sticks. And I have the Nudies Bloom Trio from Sephora, so I've just been using this a lot. And it just makes you look like you have a really beautiful, fresh face. Since it's the holidays, we're gonna be doing a little bit of contour with, oh, I forgot to tell you the name of the color. Sorry. Sweet Peach Peony on my cheeks. 
and then some sun kissed on um you know underneath the cheekbones or whatever some on the nose a little bit on the forehead and then just blend it out maybe put some a little bit underneath the jawline here it's like so humid in the bathroom because i just took a shower and i'm so warm because i also just worked out hot tip if you want to look glowy and flush do a little bit of a workout before your big event and you're gonna look pop in you know what i'm saying Whew. i look sweaty my neck does not match my face so i'm just gonna put a little bit of foundation on my neck as well just because there's a lot of you know decolletage coming on right now final color is hey honey in the new sticks little pack and this will go oops got a bit of foundation on my nails this will go on the high points of my cheeks here we go here we go something like that now what you're thinking is are you ever going to put powder yeah yeah i will put a bit of bronzer just to add a bit more depth and put a bit more Alrighty, let's get that light back in and now I think we are ready to do an eye makeup. Obviously, brought the Conspiracy palette for the holidays. And we're just gonna do something really boring, I think. Here it is again. Um, I think I'm gonna do just like more of a neutral with a lot of beautiful shimmer colors. So let's start with that. Oh, I'm out of battery as well. Shit. We're back. So I did my eyebrows off camera just because I was waiting for the battery to start. And you know how I do my eyebrows. I don't do much because most of this here is pretty much full. Um, I just do a little bit in the inner corner here and I extend a little bit of the tail. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I would like to add most of like, just like the top things. And since I am wearing some gray and some cream, I might put a little bit of diet, maybe. We'll see. So let's start. We're gonna do a little bit of ranch in the inner and on the brow bone. Some nice little shine. Then we're gonna put in my pills all over the lid just as a base and then we're going to put a little bit of tanacon on the crease and then we're going to put just a theory on the outer corner and then a dye cola on the inner corner so it's going to be glitter galore and i'm just using the same brush for everything we're going to go in with diet cola Last but not least, I'm going to put Too Faced Better Than Six Mascara. Here we are at the final result. I wanted to give major, major sunlight so you can kind of see the eye look. I will blind myself for the sake of the shot, just for you. It's kind of cute because you don't want to see my eyes. <laughs> Very dark. Come back, come back, come back. There you go. I love it. It's not too much. It just looks nice and fresh, nice and glowy. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next one.